We all, if we keep praying, I know the truth. And until our mindset changes, nothing will change. Until your way of reasoning and thinking changes, nothing will change. Everything is not prayer. It's time for us to think through, to have breakthrough. The most useful part of your body is your brain. It's not your hands, not even your legs. Some young ladies, the only thing they can bring to the table is their body. If you are beautiful without brain, you are useless at, in your home. Uh, some do, go as far as doing uh, body en enhancement. You go and enlarge your body. It's inferiority complex for a young lady to go and enhance her body. Anybody that wants to marry, doesn't marry bum bum. They marry the mind. Sometimes you don't even see beautiful people. It's not beautiful that get married on Saturdays. You, 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 when carry bomb bomb, carry everywhere. You are still moving around. You know, she said this life no balance. Go to most receptions. They are not fine. The only way they are fine is their brain. The only way they are fine is their brain. No man wants to settle with a young girl that has inferiority complex. Men will see you. They will use you. They will dump you and will not get married to you. You, what are you thinking? Bomb bomb. Thinking of how to attract a girl. The only thing you are thinking of how to buy the latest shoe. There's more to life than a body enhancement. There's more to life than some of the things that we think about. Impact! When you look around, how has your attitude changed somebody's attitude? Everybody is fine when you are intelligent. Every girl is beautiful if you are smart. Any intelligent guy doesn't look at the beauty of a girl in his physique. He looks at how you think. Let me ask you, if they give you 10 million now, young girls and young boys, people of God, generally, do you have the capacity to reproduce what they give you? When the money enters some people's hand, the first thing they will think is food. There is a big problem. Is it that village people, they follow you? Or you have a covenant with poverty. If you are not thinking of investment, you are not thinking of what to do to double the money. Are you listening to me now? It sounds funny, but this is the truth. You are thinking of food. The first thing is you are thinking of food, a good food. You are thinking of hotel, you go and lodge. You say, I don't do suffer, make a go enjoy myself there's a problem there's a problem foundation is is real the only work most people think of how to do now is scam and hook up lazy people do hook up and the hook up is not limited to ladies there are guys that do hook up and loto gambling what they call that one niger bet sure bet since you started doing short number how many million have you gotten there's nobody that bet that will ever be a billionaire if you are doing bets it is a proof that you don't trust god it is a proof that you don't believe god enough to help you that the only thing is to bet and bet is a spirit it's a gambling spirit you will think that it's much small it's much small. i'm gonna put 100 naira 200 naira the game caught 300 naira yeah, yeah so i said that i said that he caught since you have been putting all game has been cutting you know tell you say bet no fee make you rich leave bet alone i rebuke the spirit of bet here in jesus name it's very very interesting to know that it's not only men that do better there are women i know of a woman in the market here your ancestors are following you they are is a close monitoring you jump the process you can't miss the problem you must go through the process everybody's looking for shortcut now so you are looking for for dating sites to join so we can bomb what happened to the people that made airplane are they not human beings what about people that made the phone the phone you are using you are killing yourself they are human beings no? are they not human beings others are producing others are killing themselves to use what others are producing if you understand your true state in christ as a believer you are meant to command signs and wonders and not to chase after signs and wonders there are people that move from one place to the other looking for solution it's simple there is so much about your christianity that you have not been exposed to there is so much about your faith that you are yet to be exposed to you can work miracles bible didn't say this sign shall follow pastors that believe bible didn't say this sign shall follow reverend that believe bishop that believe no these signs shall follow them that believe so everyone who believes in christ is supposed to carry signs and wonders to command signs and wonders in your life to operate in the supernatural to operate in the miraculous they are setting covenant connections and number one is the new birth connection so being born again is a must there's even between a christian and a born again that you are called a christian doesn't mean you are born again no. somebody can pretend to live like somebody and yet doesn't have the spirit of that person that you come to church doesn't make you born again your first vital link to a life of the supernatural is the understanding of who you are when you become born again the average believer is so powerful that he doesn't know and a genuine born again is not an ordinary person you are not a normal you are not the normal person in the club you are not the ordinary person on the streets a born again is a man who operates in the realms where he has things the way he wants them. Spirit cannot be stopped. A spirit cannot be limited. What touches others should not touch you as a child of God because your father is a spirit and you are begotten of the spirit. Your status is not natural. Your origin is not natural. You are in the natural sphere but you are not from the natural realm. Please start understanding yourself so that you will not be misbehaving when you go outside.
outside. You are too loaded. You are, too, you are carrying something. Did you hear what I'm saying now? That's what the Bible said. A spiritual man is mad. His brain, natural brain, does not function like the natural. His brain doesn't function like the natural brain. He became natural. See. Is a killer. Sin is a destroyer. Now sin brings us where we did. If not be seen, you no go trek on church. If not be seen, you no go use ordinary belly sleep last night. Because there are people that didn't eat. And that's the truth. The suffering you're going through, now sin cause them. Sin is the root of every problem. You are not just normal. You are not ordinary. Okay? Stop walking like an ordinary person. Stop moving and behaving like an ordinary person. Stop talking like an ordinary person. Are you listening to me? You are a royalty and you are a priesthood. A king don't talk anyhow. A priest don't talk anyhow. You, there is something you carry. You are carrying God on your inside. We have no cause to fear what men of this world will fear. If you can get into this kind of revelation, I'm telling you, you will not be subject to satanic harassment. No demon can harass you. You are superior to the devil. Satan is very powerless. Satan cannot attack you. He only attacks you on your ignorance. The first thing, he will use fear and destroy your faith. And once your faith is out of place, sir, he will attack you. If Jesus could not be stopped, you will not be stopped. Your season of encounters are here. Your seasons of recovery is here. A moment to experience the supernatural wonders of God. And this time, the heavens is open. I decree your story has changed in the name of Jesus. And miracles, testimonies, and breakthrough is better. It's the Lagos Jesus Night of Miracles. Happening on the 19th of April 2024, and the time is 7 pm till then. And the venue is Novel House, Block 3 Block G, Otumba Fubi Fellaway, beside Corporate Affairs Commission, not far from Ghana Fayemi Library, Ikeja, Lagos State. It's a night of supernatural encounter. Don't miss out. It's time to pray with God's servant, Pastor Greg Vincent. As he leads us in prayer every Monday to start today from 12 midnight. Are you having troubles connecting? Then follow these steps. Visit your browser and type mixlr.com forward slash vincent dash greg and click on the enter button. Global Midnight Prayer Network, a place of answer and a place of solution. Streaming on all our social media platforms. people my name is greg vincent i want to welcome you to a brand new month this is the month of april and god's prophetic word for us this month is our month of the supernatural god is launching us into deeper work in the miraculous and i tell you it's going to be a ride that god wants you to join and i want to invite you to major events in the month of april now every sundays and thursdays is dedicated to deep teaching on walking in the miraculous on thursdays by 5 30 pm and then on sundays by uh, 7 30 and 10 am two loaded services will be doing a deep teaching series on walking in the miraculous we are having our special midnight prayer starting from this night every night in the month of april 
from 12 midnight the link is displayed on the screen right now we are on facebook we are on youtube we are on radio and we are on tv satellite pcm satellite tv i want you to join the global midnight prayer network i want you to be a part of what is going on this is the end time move of god as you join us god bless you i wish you a wonderful wonderful april month god bless you and have a wonderful day Miracles happen when God honors the word of his servant. Tonight, God will honor the words of Pastor Greg Vincent. Pray with us by connecting on the MixLR app or connect on Facebook or on YouTube. You can also watch on your satellite on Linux TV or Ninja TV. Global Midnight Prayer Network is a place of answer and a place of solution. Sowing on the wings of mercy, no chain can hold me, no limitation. I am sowing on the wings of grace. I stand on this altar in the weight of my oil. I prophesy every evil eye monitoring how your life is going. Holy God! But I pray for somebody here. Your life will still be on track. If you want to stand out, be outstanding. When principles are weak, influence will be weak. Integrity attracts integrity. To become a principal person in life, you must be a person of strong principles. This event will be streamed on all our social media platforms. PCM TV is now on Satellite 247 on Limex TV and Niger TV. That means you can now watch Pastor Greg Vincent just anytime you want and be blessed with his amazing teaching of God's Word. Available on decoders, smart TVs, Android, and iOS. Now, here is how you get PCM TV on your device. Log on to the App Store on your device and download any of the following Limex TV or Niger TV. Limex is spelled L I M E X T V. Limex TV or Niger TV. Niger is spelled N A I J A T V. Niger TV. Remember to join Pastor Greg Vincent on the Global Midnight Prayer Network. God bless you, real good. Everything is not fasting and prayer. Nigeria will not be better if we all if we keep praying. I know the truth. And until our mindset changes, nothing will change. Until your way of reasoning and thinking changes, nothing will change. Everything is not prayer. It's time for us to think through to have breakthrough. The most useful on this global altar of fire. Wherever you are listening to me from tonight, it is not a coincidence that you can hear my voice. It is by divine uh, making that you are connected tonight god bless you for joining us once again this is a wonderful time bible said at midnight paul and silas prayed and they sang and the prisoners heard them and suddenly there was an earthquake and the foundation of the building was shaken and all the prison doors began to open what a mighty god at midnight to at midnight Paul and Silas, they prayed, they sang. They were serious. Even though they were in prison, the Bible said they prayed and they sang. Sometimes we underestimate the power of the midnight. Why is it that it's that time that you're supposed to pray that sleep will come? Yes, because the night is powerful. Hallelujah. But my prayer for you is that this week, God will energize your prayer life. God will empower and refire your prayer life. In the name of jesus christ please as our routine demands once you are able to join once you have connected you have the duty to help others join is your responsibility amen help somebody send the link across to your family your friends you know sometimes it's not really easy waking up but 
you can help somebody there is a way you get used to the midnight prayer once it is time for prayer not not nobody wakes you up but there are people that are not used to it so you have to keep helping them you have to keep calling them you have to keep sharing the link with them keep reminding them amen it could be that god positioned you in your in their life just to help them in this area so go about post the link on your whatsapp status there are people waiting for you to post that link all right they need it so they can connect through your whatsapp status hallelujah so post also if you are on any of the social media platforms like facebook you are on facebook post on facebook post on instagram post on telegram if you have a whatsapp channel that you run post on your whatsapp channel you have a a special whatsapp group for your business and you want your customers to also join the prayer encourage them to join post the, the link there post the link there amen husband wake your wife wife wake your husband amen parents wake your children you know if you your children can start praying at this age if they are young you can start encouraging children to pray i mean you start imbibing this spirit of prayer into them i'm telling you half of your half of your challenge is gone half of your children our upbringing is gone you have done a good job hallelujah when your your children start waking you up start telling you mommy it's time for prayer daddy it's time for prayer you have done a good job so start putting it inside of them now start putting wake them up amen wake them up encourage them sometimes it's not easy just do your best you can put a call across to your neighbor your friends your colleagues at the office and tell them it's prayer time hallelujah and they will certainly be grateful they will be grateful glory to god this is a beautiful week that god has helped us to see and i'm excited already because what god is said to do eyes have not seen ears have not heard it has not entered into the heart of any man what god has prepared for them that love him and them that are called according to his purpose once again welcome to global midnight prayer network before we go into prayers just keep your ears open get this information at the end help me share also with your friends what i have said the information i drop here will help us to coordinate ourselves here on this altar this is our week of arise and shine every week god is giving us word new and fresh and this word is for somebody arise and shine this week god is calling you and i to a brighter life that's what it means god is calling us to a brighter life and he says arise and shine so this week your testimony shall be that your life shines brighter in the mighty name of jesus your testimony shall be that your life shines brighter in the mighty name of jesus christ please take note i want to encourage you to take prayers more serious this season the enemy is walking to and fro looking for who to devour not you but we must not be ignorant of the device of the enemy the only way to wage war against the attacks of the wicked is by constantly soaking yourself in prayers. When you are on your knees, I am telling the truth, the devil is always on his heels. So and I encourage you, even when you are feeling sleepy, try your, try your best. There is a way you get used to the midnight prayer. Once it's time for prayer, you wake up. And that is how I want it to be for you. It is going to help you a lot in the long run somebody shared a testimony with me over the weekend of how people were owing her you know she had a lot of challenges here and there people were owing her business was going down until somebody sent her the link and then she said she decided to start praying she was not praying midnight prayer before she would just do a normal five minutes go to bed and then wake up do another five minutes go out and then she said but when she started doing joining the midnight prayer consistently she noticed that people that were owing her were the ones calling her in the in one week they paid her all her money in one week that was how she knew that the midnight prayer was very powerful are you seeing that so please take it serious it is for your own good 
do data prepare ahead of time hallelujah get your friends to join as well lagos jesus night of miracle is here this week friday is 19th i am going to be in lagos live and direct the registration link is going to be uh uh will be shop- shutting down on wednesday night hallelujah so if you have not registered you have between now and wednesday night to register if you are living in lagos and the address once again i'll drop the address now for some of us that have not are not aware of where it is holding i'm going to drop the address on our whatsapp channel it's on our whatsapp channel so if you are still trying to get where the the program is holding the program will be holding live and direct at novel house novel house plot three block j otumba phobia fell away fell away beside corporate affairs commission is not far from ganifa emil library all right ikeja so if you're in ikeja or anywhere you are in lagos just try and get this uh try and get this uh information very quickly and make sure that you don't miss the the program this friday hallelujah play praise the name of jesus don't miss it praise the name of jesus hallelujah praise god and then also before we go into prayers please take note i will be visiting sapele for super thursday on thursday 25th of april i will be in sapele also please register uh cause i am coming for a one-on-one and i'll be seeing you based on those for so try as much as you can on thursday 25th i will be coming the registration form will be dropping on our whatsapp channel uh, immediately we are done with the prayer so we'll also broadcast it so you can also get it after sapel i'll be in worry so worry get ready i've not been to worry for a long time it's more than a year i've not been to worry but by god's special grace i will be in for worry uh special is a special super sunday amen i will be in worry to be a blessing to every one of us in worry praise the name of jesus and then also take note we will be starting registration for our international camp meeting 2024 from the month of may but those of us that attend our satellite churches the in-house registration is going to start this coming sunday but generally we are going to release a general form for you to fill online for those that wants to come into port harcourt in fact it's not about wanting i mandated every global midnight prayer network member to step into the city of port harcourt in the month of june for a retreat we are all coming together for a retreat it's our annual camp meeting we are fasting for three days we are going to be together it's going to be a convocation that you will not forget in a hurry hallelujah so get yourself ready and then finally before i go into the the work for the day take note of this is very very important we don't use code on this altar we do not use code on this altar if anybody chats you up hallelujah if anybody chats you up to send them code or schedule for prayer please don't send them the code don't send them the code hallelujah they will hack your account i would not be held responsible for that praise god once again i want to welcome you to global midnight prayer network help me post on your status wherever you are help me post on your status arise and shine hallelujah arise and shine help me post on your status everyone help me post on your status arise and shine 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 go to your status and post it if you are on facebook post it you are on youtube post it anywhere just make sure you have involved arise and shine as you do that this week your light will shine bright 
in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now quickly let me uh, share this with you. One of the most popular scripture in the Bible is in the book of Psalms chapter 88, 68 verse 1. That's one of the most uh, popular scripture and um, one of the most popular song also is let God arise and let his enemies be scattered. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. You know, but human beings, we sing, let God arise. We shout, let God arise. We pray, let God arise. Are you listening to me? A very powerful prayer indeed. A very powerful song indeed. But you see, strangely, in heaven, angels are not singing that kind of song. They are not saying, let God arise. That's not their song. They are singing, let men arise. And let God's enemies be scattered. That is their song. So what does it mean? There are enemies that will not scatter until you and I arise. God is not waiting. God is not going to come down. That's what the Bible said, arise. God will not come down. God is waiting for you. He has given you everything it need, that is needed to shine. Is left for you to arise. Bible say, arise and shine. For thy light has already come. Until you arise, there will be no shining. That's what the Bible said. So, the very strange truth is this. Although God is the Almighty, and God has all the powers in His hands, and He can do all things all by Himself, He is still limited in many ways. Are you listening to me? Until human beings arise. There are certain things God cannot do for Himself. He needs to go through a human being to do it. So, why we want God to arise in heaven, they want men to arise. They are men sleeping. Let me tell you, there are some things that will not happen in your family until you rise up and start praying. There are some deliverances you won't have until you wake up, you arise and you start praying. So, why God is powerful, there are certain ways in our actions that we can't limit. Certain ways in our actions that we can actually uh, limit God. That we can actually limit God. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are certain ways that we can actually limit the power of God in our lives. And I am praying for somebody tonight. Whatsoever is in your thoughts, whatsoever is in your brain, whatsoever is in your hands, whatsoever is in your life, that is limiting the hand of God from helping you. May that thing be buried as we pray tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Something happened at the tomb of Lazarus. Jesus first asked the people to roll away the stone. Jesus was not going to use divine power to roll away the stone. If men did not arise to play their part by rolling away the stone, Lazarus might have still remained in that grave. So if they decided to wait for each other, there would be no miracle. That's just the truth. Lazarus would have risen. But there was a part that Jesus had to pay, play. There's, there was also a part that men had to play. They were the ones that put the stones there. So Jesus asked them to roll it away. Elijah said, I hear the sound of abundance of rain. He could hear the sound, but there was no rain yet. Elijah did not just relax and say, ah, well, I have heard the sound, so the rain will come. He prayed to convert that spiritual sound he heard in his ears to tangible manifestations. And that is what God is expecting from us. God has said, I will bless you. God has said, there are prophecies over your life. But prophecies don't fulfill themselves. Are you listening to me? You enforce prophecy by prayer. You enforce prophecy by engagement. Because God told you that you will do certain things. Sorry, like he will do certain things for you because you have a prophecy from the Lord. It does not mean you just have to go to bed and sleep. Between it shall come to pass and it came to pass. There is usually a human intervention. Is somebody following me right now? Between it shall come to pass and it came to pass. There is usually a human intervention. There is promise. There is prayer. 
against performance are you listening to me right now if there is no promise and there is no prayer there is no way there will be performance there will be no performance please try and understand this very well if elijah had no reason there might never have been manifestation of that which happened at the mountain for those that are bible students though so the prophecy was valid if he did not arise and pray it will you know it wouldn't have happened hallelujah i pray for somebody who will type amen hallelujah i pray for somebody who will type amen here every power that gives up miracles around you every power that makes miracle not to be viable not to happen in your life that power is destroyed in the name of jesus christ there is always sitting down doing nothing there is somebody under the influence of my voice god is saying this time for you to arise even jesus did not only pray he also moved jesus did not only pray he only also moved the book of the book of acts of apostles told us that this is the chronicle of that which jesus began both to do and to teach he didn't sit down and expect prophecy to come to pass he woke up he prayed look at the life of jesus jesus was a man of prayer at certain point at intervals he will leave his disciples run to the wilderness or run to a prayer place and begin to pray sometimes he will pray from from the hours of eight and he will pray to the hours of 4 a.m sometimes bible say he prayed all through the night because nothing just happens are you listening to me right now if you want to fulfill destiny you don't sleep through the night oh you don't sleep. i've had a lot of people pastors friends and people tell me oh, how is this happening in the life of pastor you know they only see the glory but they don't see the price they only see that sir this is wonderful god is blessing this man of god his ministry is moving forward yes but do you know that I, in the night i sleep less than two hours in, in fact in 24 hours sometimes i sleep i sleep less than three hours in the 24 hours given to me by god hallelujah are you listening to me right now so there's a price you must pay and god is waiting for somebody if you are experiencing challenges spiritual battles here and there don't go about sleeping arise god is saying i should say to somebody arise arise there are miracles god wants hallelujah are you listening to me right now so there's a price you must pay and god is waiting for somebody if you are experiencing challenges spiritual battles here and there don't go about sleeping arise god is saying i should say to somebody arise arise there are miracles god wants to do that we have never seen are you listening to me not because god has not perfected it but because you are too we are too lazy to go and take Imagine what Bible says, right from the days of John the Baptist until now, this kingdom suffers violence. The violent, you first of all, you must be violent before you take. So you have a duty to go and take what belongs to you. God has said, if the kingdom suffers violence, you won't fold your hands. If you are violent enough, there is something for you to take. There is a miracle for you to take. There is a blessing for you to take. There is deliverance for you to take. There is healing for you to take. All you need to do is arise. Arise. Some do not want to look strange. Hallelujah. They do not want to behave strange. But I tell you, we are in a generation, we are in a world that is not normal. You cannot be normal in this abnormal world. You are living abnormal. You are quiet. Some people are quiet. Somebody somebody told you, I will deal with you, and you are quiet. You say, God, we uh, live and live and for God. What? No. Arise and shine take it by force take your destiny by force 
take your blessing by force. God is waiting for you to arise. If you are listening to me, you have been sick. All right? It's not about pastor. Sometimes you don't wait for pastor. You arise and take your destiny by force. Arise. Many of us are still sleeping. There are places of uncommon breakthroughs that you may never reach until you begin to arise. Are you listening to me? There are dimensions in life you can never get to until you begin to arise. And it is a very serious thing. It's a very serious thing. It may take a battle to obtain what God has already said is yours. It may take fight. You have to fight it. You have to fight it. Are you listening to me? If you have seen a prophecy about yourself, many years ago, God told me I was going to be great. And I can tell you from that time till today, I've never, I've not rested. I've not, I, I fight for my, I fight for my greatness. I move for my greatness. I won't be sleeping when other, when I'm supposed to be reading my books. I won't be sleeping when I'm supposed to be praying. I won't be sleeping when I'm supposed to be, you know, chatting with people, doing things I'm not supposed to do when I'm supposed to be studying my books. There are many of us that God is waiting for you to arise. And until you arise, God would arise. In heaven, the, the heavens, people are in the heavens. They are, they are sorry, angels are saying, are saying, let men arise. We on earth, we are saying, let God arise. If the scriptures cannot be broken. Let God arise. Yes, his enemies will scatter. That's what our, we are praying now. But in heaven, the, the angels are waiting for you to arise. If you don't arise, the day you arise, you tell yourself enough is enough. That's the day the devil runs away. Are you listening to me? Devil cannot stay in a very in a hot place. Satan cannot stay in a house, a, a life that is on fire. So arise. Arise. Go to the comment section and post arise. Tomorrow I will continue. Arise. Post it on your comment section. This week I will arise. Post it there. Post it. We'll, we'll pray now. This week I will arise. This week I will arise. This week I will arise. Go ahead and post it. We are going to pray shortly. We are going to pray shortly. This week I will arise. This week I will arise. This week I will arise. My light will shine. This week I will arise. My light must shine. My light must shine. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the victorious name of Jesus. Lift your voice wherever you are. And begin to appreciate God. Begin to thank him for his goodness, his mercies, his love upon your life. Everybody open your mouth and begin to bless him. Begin to appreciate God for his love. Begin to bless him for his love. Begin to love on him. Thank him for his goodness. Thank him for how he has protected you. Thank him for how he has preserved you. He has kept you, not by your own power, not by your own might, but by the mercy of God. You are not alive today because you are smart. You are not alive, alive today because you know you are intelligent. Or probably because you are handsome or beautiful. It is because God has shown you mercy. It's because God has helped you. And I want you to wholeheartedly go to God tonight and say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for helping me. Thank you, Jesus, for, for preserving me. Thank you, Jesus, for protecting me. Elash kafuri bahaya. Misumande banda kobalandia. Asekeke bundele kataya. Father, I thank you. I thank you for preserving my soul, for keeping me, for protecting me, for always coming true for me, for always preserving my life, for always providing for me. Thank you, Jehovah. Thank you, Jehovah. May your name be praised. May your name be lifted. May your name be lifted in the name of Jesus Christ. In the victorious name of Jesus. Wherever you are tonight, this is very prophetic. Open your mouth and plead the blood of Jesus over yourself wherever you are. The blood of Jesus speaks better speaks better things than the blood of bulls and animals open your mouth and say lord i cover myself with the blood of jesus i cover myself with the blood of jesus my family members with the blood of jesus i cover my family members with the blood of jesus open your mouth and enforce the efficacy of the blood of jesus enforce the power of the blood of jesus over your life over your 
family, over your children, over your household, over your marriage, over your business, over your doors, over your windows, over your house, over your room. Cover yourself. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. Cover yourself with the blood of Jesus. I cover myself with the blood of Jesus. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. In the victorious name of Jesus Christ. I would like you to, wherever you are, please post the link and share. If you're on Facebook, use this opportunity and share the link now. Share the link. If you're on Facebook, just share and like. All right? If you're on radio, use the opportunity and post it on your status. There are some prayers I want to lead you now. They are very effective. Your friends, your family will need it. Lift your voice wherever you are and say after me. Say, my father, my maker. Say that again, say, my father, my maker. As I begin to pray, every power strengthening wickedness in my life, every power strengthening wickedness in my life, you are a liar. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray against every power strengthening wickedness in your life. Every power strengthening wickedness in my life, you are a liar. Somebody confront, arise and say you are a liar. You are a liar. That power strengthening failure in my life, strengthening wickedness in my life. You are a liar. Die by fire. 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 Every power strengthening wickedness in my life. You are a liar. You are a liar. Somebody open your mouth. Begin to fire this prayer. Begin to fire this prayer. Every power strengthening wickedness in my life. You are a liar. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Where there is a man to pray, there is a God who answers. There is a God who answers. Lift up your voice and pray. Lift up your voice and talk to God. Rabadagado shandala bagada. Every power Threatening wickedness in my life. You are a liar. You are a liar. Die by fire. Die by fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the victorious name of Jesus. I pray for somebody here. Your life will not be wasted. Your life will not be wasted. I pray for you. Any power program to waste your life shall be wasted. We are going to arise. There are some of us, this is not you. This is not you. It's as if time is passing you. When you look around, you're like, nothing is happening. Time is passing you. You are going to arise wherever you are. And you are going to pray this prayer like your life depends on it. Open your mouth and say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, every power from my father's house, every power from my mother's house, determine me to waste my destiny. Determined to waste my life. What are you waiting for? Be wasted by fire. Be wasted by fire. Powers from my father's house. Powers from my mother's house. Determined to waste my destiny. Determined to waste my life. Be wasted by fire. 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 Open your mouth and
and pray. Open your mouth and pray. You know where you are coming from. You know what you are going through. It's as if time is passing you. It's as if time is passing you. You look, you look at your finances. It's as if time is passing you. You look at your marital life. It's as if time is passing you. You look at things around you. It's as if time is passing you. And they want to waste your life. They want to waste your destiny. Open your mouth and say, no, I will arise. Satan, you lie. Powers from my father's house. Determined to waste me. Determined to waste my time. Determined to waste my life. Determined to waste my destiny. You are a liar. Be wasted by fire. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Eshadagadagadosha rakadama kubalande evika barabagada. Ekato Shandaya, Ezegada Legada Kotia, Libran de Gadegade, Laquatalia Kata, Esubragadagada, Evrigada Ragada, Ashkata Labagadia, Arakata Labagata, Erega de Legadagada, Escobaragadagada, Asheke de Gedegade, Akabarabagata, Eshagala Bagadagada. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know? That they are powers and they are powers. They are wicked powers. <laughs> if the day God open your eyes, you will understand what I'm saying. They are powers. Wicked powers. But the power of God is bigger than any power. You are going to open your mouth and you will address. You will address certain things now. Open your mouth say after me. Let them scatter in the name of Jesus Christ. Hmm. Listen, there are people who don't like this prayer. <laughs> they don't like this prayer, but we will pray it. Anywhere you are, you will take the next prayer. Powers assigned. There are powers that have been assigned to donate trouble into my life. They say that trouble, trouble from one problem to the other, from one problem, police case, from police case, court case, from court case, sickness, from sickness, disappointment, from disappointment, delay, from one problem. It's as if your life is stagnant. Every power that has been designed to donate sorrow into my life. What are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Collapse by fire. Collapse by fire. Every power assigned and designed to donate sorrow into my family to donate sorrow into my life uh, scattered by fire are you ready to pray that prayer open your mouth say after me my father my father as i begin to pray every power assigned and designed every power assigned and designed to donate sorrow into my life uh, to donate sorrow into my family what are you waiting for collapse by fire collapse by fire collapse by fire collapse by fire clap your hands move around your room clap your hands move around your room you have arisen tonight ashego matengo gadoliata iviga baga baga dolataya jagaraga togataya rakatolia kataya regadelega degadeya aruka bakateya ashabara bagadaya iruta nascobaraya Scatter by fire, collapse by fire, collapse by fire, collapse by fire, collapse by fire. Regadegadegadegadegade, ribagado sharada, evika barande legadua, askada lagadia, evekata lagatua, ezuria kata, ekaradia kata, e barata zokata, iviga boshaya. In Jesus' name we pray. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Ina Sovani Gabalash, Eziganamatia, every messenger of darkness, bringing bad news into your life. You're going to open your mouth and pray. 
let them collapse suddenly suddenly every messenger of darkness bringing bad news preparing bad news into my life projecting bad news into my business into my family messengers of darkness messengers of darkness uh, collapse by fire are you ready now open your mouth say for my father my father as i begin to pray every messenger of darkness uh, introducing bad news uh, into my life uh, what are you waiting for collapse by fire collapse by fire collapse by fire open your mouth and pray no mercy for the wicked no mercy for the wicked messengers messengers of darkness introducing introducing bad news into my life into my family into my life collapse by fire 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 in the name of jesus christ in the victorious name of jesus there are people that God has already blessed. You prayed and God has already begin to answer your, began to answer your prayer. But there are powers that will never allow those blessings, those prayers to be answered. There are powers that ambushes our blessing. You are going to address now. Please, nobody sitting down. Rise up. Rise up. Bible said, arise. Until you arise, you will shine. Yes, there are certain challenges that will not leave you until you arise and say, ah, enough is enough enough is enough one of my daughters on this altar all the men coming her way was married men some of them will come and then the, if it's a young man that comes they will just break her heart and like that she was getting to 35 and one day she heard me pray on this altar she heard me pray one kind of dangerous prayer on this altar that challenged her spirit she said daddy from that day after midnight prayer i used to take it to two o'clock i'll be firing so I fired, I fired for seven days. And then the next week, I started seeing light. As at the time she was sharing the testimony with me, she was already married. She was already married. I am telling you, there are certain things that will not happen to your eyes. There are certain prayer points you need to pray as a believer. And if you don't pray them, the enemy will oppress you. But not your portion. You are going to open your mouth and say after me. Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray, every power will lay in my blessing. Every power will lay in my blessing. I'm pushing my blessing. Die by fire. Die by fire. Lift up your voice and pray. Every power will lay in my blessing. Every power I'm pushing my blessing. Die by fire. 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 Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Every power I'm pushing my blessing. Every power will lay my blessing. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Lift up your voice and pray. Open your mouth and pray. That power from the pit of hell. I'm pushing and will lay my blessing. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Open your mouth and pray, sir. Open your mouth and pray. Where there is a man to pray. There is a God who answer. A Shande Catolia. A Shaba Baba 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 Baba. A Rakatala Baba Baba. A Shandala Bagada. A Rakatala Bagada. Every power from the pit of hell. I'm pushing my blessing. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Lift up your voice and pray. Open your mouth and pray. That devil is a bastard. A Shekalondia. A Rakata. Anianta, Ezudia Tala, Eviga Barada. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. In the victorious name of Jesus, you are going to open your mouth and you are going to address altars. 
any altar tying down my testimony scatter by fire are you ready to pray that prayer there are altars some is family altars some is ancestral altars some are altars of wicked people any altar tying down my testimony catch fire you are going to address with fire address with fire open your mouth say my father my father as i begin to pray now every altar wicked altar tying down my testimony tying down my blessing heart what are you waiting for catch fire catch fire catch fire catch fire open your mouth and pray Open your mouth and pray. Lido shade kabolata aviga baradatwa. Every power, every power, every power operating on any altar, tying down my blessing, tying down my testimony. Catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Every altar, tying down my financial blessing. Catch fire. Every altar, tying down my marital blessing catch fire catch fire. somebody pray now pray now pray now pray now be violent about it be violent about this prayer be violent be angry in your spirit be angry in your spirit that power from your father's house that power from your mother's house tying down your testimony tying down your blessing libano shiabata if you in jesus name we pray in the mighty name of jesus i pray for you wherever you are that any power consulting witch daughters against you, any power consulting evil, consulting witch doctors against you, you are going to pray. What are they waiting for? Let them die. Lift your voice. Say after me. Say, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, every power consulting witch doctors against me, against my marital destiny, against my finances, against my business, any power consulting which doctors what are you waiting for die by fire die by fire die by fire somebody open your mouth to begin to pray begin to pray begin to pray fire begin to pray every power consulting which doctors against my life against my life what are you waiting for what are you waiting for collapse by fire collapse by fire collapse by fire open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray mashandala gwandea asekete legedia irakwatandia regegegegegege lima kobalakata in Jesus mighty name we pray in the victorious name of Jesus I pray for you wherever you are any 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 power mentioning your name altar shouting your name every altar shouting your name mentioning your name wicked altar marine altar occultic altar any altar mentioning your name holy ghost fire holy ghost fire holy ghost fire there's a girl listening to me your fellow girls say they will deal with you you people used to be friends you are listening to me oh my eyes are open you used to be friends and something happened the girl say she will deal with you say you she will deal with you and right now your life has been scattered i mean when i mean scattered of the person i'm talking to you are not in nigeria you are listening to me from dubai you know with some arab people you are listening to me right now i see a fair young lady there's a tattoo somewhere on your hand god is opening my eyes and i'm seeing where somebody with you in that place in that particular dubai all right told you that she will deal with you and do you know what she did she went to see an alpha and they are using that particular this thing they are mentioning your name and sometimes you as if you want to run mental 
the person you are the person I'm talking to, you are listening to me right now, you are shocked how I'm able to understand this thing. Because I'm a man of the spirit, and God is opening my eyes once I come on this altar and I begin to pray, God opens my eyes. But this is what is happening. Now I pray. Everything they have done against you is going is backfiring now, not tomorrow. Is backfiring. Anything they have done is backfiring in the name of Jesus. Anything they have done from today, as they mention your name on that wicked altar, it will backfire in the name of Jesus. It will backfire in the name of Jesus. Everybody lift your voice and say after me. Say, my father, my father. Hey, Neska Viga Barado Shabaya. There is a lady listening to me. Recently, you have been seen coughing in your dream. You have been seen coughing in your dream. And you have seen a young man standing by that coffin. That coffin is actually being prepared for you, not that young man. Because you love that person. I'm seeing somebody that you know. Are you listening to me? They are preparing something to use you as a sacrifice. You are under the influence of my voice. I'm seeing you going out with a young man that is very fetish. If you, you know this guy is a fetish guy. If you don't disconnect, come on down. I'm talking to somebody now if you do, you are listening to me you know what i'm talking about he's a fetish person you know very well you they will use you for sacrifice if you don't disconnect if you don't run for your life god is open see god does not if god loves you he will, he will open up things you are listening to me right now you are in worry you are listening to me from worry you are under the influence of my voice you know there is something cooking and if you don't run for your life i am telling you god will not open my eyes because he loves you god wants to deliver you you have a major activity in the agenda of god somebody lift your voice wherever you are and say after me say my father my father as i be Begin to pray. Every power assigned, every power assigned to destroy my life. What are you waiting for? Die! Die! Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and fire. Holy Ghost fire. Holy Ghost fire. Open your mouth and pray. No mercy. Rabado Sharadaya. Ikabo do 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 do. Evi alagadaya. Rakwande legede. Likratonzia. Rakwataliasa. Evi gede legede. Rutaskedia. Rakwataya. Lekwataya. Matos katosha. Barabadiata. God preserve you. God preserve you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, put your right hand on your forehead. Everybody, as I pray this prayer, put your right hand on your forehead. May God preserve you. May God preserve you. May God preserve somebody. Type amen. If you can type amen, type amen. If you can put your hand on your forehead. However you can respond to this prayer, please respond. May God of Global Midnight Prayer Network preserve you. Preserve you. Preserve you. Preserve you. Fight for you. Fight your battle. Fight for you. Fight for you. Fight for you. Preserve you. Preserve you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you are going to open your mouth and you are going to pray against arrows. The arrows that have been projected against you, against your life, let the arrows go back. Arrows go back. Arrows go back. Are you ready to pray? This is second to the last prayer. And then we are going to pray with our four prayer points. And I will round up this prayer tonight. Lift up your voice. Say after me. Say, my father, my father, as I begin to pray, every arrow, every arrow projected against my life, uh, return to sender. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the victorious name of Jesus. If you are listening to me right now, we are going to take the last prayer point. Bring out your four prayer points. We'll take the last prayer point. Bring out the four, your four prayer points. And then I will pray in. I will pray in about five dimensions. Those believing God for healing, you will join me. All right. 
you join me like those believing God for fruit of the womb. You join me, those believing God for marital break. You are pregnant, you want prayers, your business, and then everyone, all my sons and daughters are brought. You will join me, but we have one prayer point. Very powerful prayer point right now. Now, hear me, wherever you are listening to this. There are people joining me for the first time. This is your first time of following the midnight prayer. Before I take the last prayer point, I would like you to quickly, as quickly as possible, take this number. Take this number. Save it in your phone as Pastor Greg Vincent. Add me up on WhatsApp. Send me a message on that number. Your full name, your location, and three prayer point. All right? Wherever you are, take that number now. 91 3377 5919. I'll take it again. 091 That's the number. Please save it to your phone as Pastor Greg Vincent. Add me up on WhatsApp with that number. Send me your full name, your location, and three prayer points. If you have been trying to reach out to pastor and it's not rich, you can't reach out on Facebook, on WhatsApp or you're no longer receiving messages, also, please try as much as you can to save that number, all right, as well. And everyone hear this. There is somebody here this week, what you lost, this is what the Lord is saying. What you lost, you will recover it. I see somebody that lost money. You lost money, you will recover that money. I'm seeing a reversal. Because it's a huge amount of money and you have been praying, you have been praying. That money is coming back. You lost something very valuable. It is coming back. Thus say the Lord of hosts. Now here before I take the last prayer point, if you are in Lagos, hey, if you are, in, you are listening to me and you are in Lagos, I just wish you don't miss this weekend. I am going to be in Lagos this weekend. I will be in Lagos. If you have not registered, the registration link will be ending on Friday night. Sorry, Wednesday night. Hallelujah. The registration link will be ending, will be shutting down on Friday, on Wednesday night. So this night, if you have not registered, I want you to quickly, quickly register. Quickly register. I just dropped the registration link on our WhatsApp channel. That is for Lagos. Lagos Jesus Night of Miracle. Go and register. If you go to, if you have not registered, register. Please, if you have a family member that needs to attend that program, send them the link. Let them also register. Hallelujah. And then, and then this night, this this Friday, seven p.m. till dawn. Novel House, Novel House, Novel House is around the Keja. Hallelujah. Novel House is located around Plot Three, Block J, Otumba Fobi Fele Way. Beside Corporate Affairs Commission, is not far from Ganifa Emi Library, Keja. Don't miss out. I'll be there. And I am coming to help you. God is sending me to help your life. Are you listening to me? I'm coming with power. I'm coming with power. I'm coming with, with the might of the Spirit. So get yourself ready. One last prayer point. You're going to open your mouth and say, My Father, as I begin to pray, Every power diverting my journey to stagnation. Every power diverting my journey into stagnancy. You are making journey to success, but the devil is pushing you into, into stagnation. That power die by fire. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Every power diverting my journey. Diverting my journey. In the name of Jesus. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Die by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Le koba shabalabada. Ifandele gadagade. Rakabo sharabadia. Ezegadele gadagade. Rakabo. Rabo shanda la bada, isete legede gede, ramo shanda legede, librando kubaladia, asha ba 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 ba, die by fire, every power diverting my journey, diverting my journey, die by fire, 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 in the name. Of Jesus Christ, 
wherever you are. If you can join me on any of the visual platforms, you are free to join me now as I pray for you. If you can join me on radio, join me on radio. Or if you can join me on the on Instagram, Pastor Greg Vincent, Pastor Greg Vincent on Instagram. All right, if you are sick and you are saying, God, heal me. I need the healing power of God upon my life. Please quickly join me. Join me now on Instagram, Pastor Greg Vincent. Make sure you follow. If you have not been following me, follow up. Hallelujah. Then if you are follow, if you are, we are already on YouTube, so you can join us on YouTube. We are also on Facebook. If you're on Facebook, use the share button. Use the share. Like and share. On Facebook, like and share now. Please like and share now on Facebook. Like and share. On Facebook, like and share. If you are following me on YouTube, it's time. It's time. Make sure you join in this section. All right. Join me on, on Instagram. Daddy, pray for me. I've experienced a lot of heartbreak and i need god to bless with my own home i want you to join me now on any of the visual platform join me as quick as possible on any of the visual platform on instagram please once we are 800 i'll begin to pray daddy i've been sick i need god to heal me i believe in the oil of god on your life i believe on the anointing you carry please daddy pray for me now connect on instagram connect on instagram wherever you are lino shabaya connect your eyes connect your eyes Connect your eyes to my eyes. Let the suva de suva raba hando zogwa zegwara de zavran de karota zoran de kapala. As I'm praying, healing is moving. Healing is flowing from where I am to where you are. Zuran de kaba shoriata vegetos kefale zoninda skopara shekande keturia zovaria davoria kasia vekoparande zonos kefande meskufrinda lakwa zegash keto zeket kadiat. Bagas kofrenda, mas kofrende le kwarianda. Jaka tekete, reko tekata. Mekabande, mekoba, mekoba. Le guateda, zakuri atande. Gezogotonde, le krataya. Zika bosha, vetenza breke. Erakwata, zianato, rekete. Bekofa, ratezia, zukatia la shanangata. Every sickness in your body, come out by fire. Come out by fire. Come out by fire. Fire. Come out by 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 fire. That devil tormenting your body. That pain. Yaroshama Quarande Matasketolia. Expire. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. In the victorious name of Jesus. Check yourself. If you were sick, if you were sick or you had one issue with your health. Just check yourself now. Check yourself. The Lord just healed you. Yes. The Lord, check yourself. The Lord just healed you. Yes. There's somebody with a, a very serious abdominal pain. The Lord just healed you. The doctor told, said you have anemia, had anemia, and that you're going to go for operation. The Lord just healed you. Hallelujah. There's a lot of healing on this altar now. God is taking over. Now, if you are believing God for fruit of the womb, I want you to put your hand on your, on your, on your stomach. Whether you are a man or you are a woman, you have been married. Hey, Mashabalosia. There's a man, the doctor said you have loose palm cancer, so you have been on drugs. You won't need the drugs because a miracle is happening already. I see you, I see you having. I see you having a baby. Yes, yes, yes. The doctors, that same doctor will ask you a question. Where did you go? What happened? Because as I'm talking now, the doctor confirmed that your, your sperm count is low. And you have been on drugs. You are listening to me right now. In fact, you are ashamed of yourself. The person I'm talking to, you are always ashamed of yourself. You can't even, you can't, sometimes you can't face your wife. You can't face your wife because of it. It's not the problem. Your wife is not the problem. But, Oga, if there is any oil on my head, put your hand. Put your hand on your lower abdomen. All right? Everybody that wants a child, you want a child. I mean, put your hand on your, on your lower abdomen. Let me tell you. If God could give Sarai, Sarai, somebody's grandmother, Sarai was 70 something, somebody's grandmother, God could bless her womb. Your case is too small. God will bless you with, God will open your womb now. 
There is a woman, after this prayer, some things will begin to come out of your body. God will begin to remove all the things that the enemy used to block your fallopian tube so that you will not have a child. God will begin to remove them now, now, now. As I'm talking, as I'm talking, as I'm talking, God is removing everything. Every nonsense the enemy put in your body. There is a woman with a fibroid. They say you have fibroid and anytime you take in, the baby is, you know, there is this, uh, the baby is aborted. You are listening to me right now. By the power of God, every foreign thing the enemy introduced into your womb, any devil inside your body resisting you from carrying your baby, Holy Ghost, fire. Die, die, let it 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 die by the fire of the Holy Ghost, by the fire now, 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 I command that devil, come out of your body, fibroid, come out of your body, ovarian cyst, die in the name of Jesus Christ, blocked fallopian tube, open now, open now, open, 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 open by fire, in the name of Jesus. This is watch what God is doing now. I'm not there with you, but God is doing something. God is doing something. There's a woman you're already shaking, you're on the floor because the power of God just came upon you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Now, if you are listening to me, if you are listening to me, and I prayed for you, you are believing God for fruit of the womb. See, follow my instruction. Go and write the name of your children. How many children you want to have? These are seasons to arise. If you don't arise, you can't shine. Go and write the name of your babies, your children. Write, go to the market, buy baby things, and start preparing, your, be, start preparing yourself to have a baby. Start preparing yourself to have a baby because I see you carrying your baby. I see you holding your baby in your hand in the name of Jesus. Please, if you are pregnant, put your hand on your tummy. I cover you with the blood of Jesus. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. I declare by the decree of the Almighty in the name that is above every name at the time of delivery there shall be no complication. You will deliver safely. You will deliver safely. You will deliver safely. You will deliver safely. Will deliver safely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now if you are believing God for marital breakthrough please put your right hand on your chest. One decree is enough. Marital breakthrough. Put your hand on your chest. Yes, I pray for you. That everything delaying your marital settlement is hereby defeated. I stand in the authority of the word of God. I decree now that anything stopping and delaying your journey to marital settlement is hereby destroyed. Is hereby destroyed. Is hereby destroyed. And I declare... By the hand of Yeshua, Amashia, your celebration shall manifest. Men and women shall gather in your compound. They shall gather to celebrate your marriage. In Jesus' name, I pray. If you are a business person, put your hand on your chest. I pray for you in the name of Jesus. That the hand of God will come heavily upon your business. Upon your business. Upon your career. Upon your profession. This week, you will shine. This week, your business will shine. This week, your finance will shine. This week, your profession will shine. In the name of Jesus, I, re I, I release you into realms of favor. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus. Now, I pray. Wherever you are listening to this, I pray for every of my son and daughter abroad. If you are not within Nigeria, I pray for you. The hand of God upon you. This week, you will have a testimony that your light shined brighter. You will have a testimony that your light shined brighter in the name of Jesus Christ. There is somebody I want to pray for. Please get your ATM card. Everybody get your ATM card. The last prayer I will do before the ATM prayer is the four prayer points. I instruct that you get four, write four prayer points. For those that are not aware, tomorrow, write your four prayer points. The things you want God to do for you in four months. Write it out. Every night you'll be praying with it. Bring out your four prayer points. I will just say a word and then I will pray. I will say a word and I will pray for, for, uh, for you on your finances. Get your ATM card. 
Get your ATM card. Some people don't they don't believe. You don't believe me. I believe in miracle money. I believe that God can touch somebody to favor me financially. I believe. I believe that my needs can be met. God can use somebody to meet my needs. And that's what I want to pray. Hallelujah. But raise your four prayer points. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know what you have written, but whatever it is you wrote as a desire, between now and four months, may you see the, the result. May you see answers. May you see answers. May you see answers. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Now raise your ATM card wherever you are. Raise your ATM card. Male Kubalashka. Vera Naskovia. There is somebody listening to me. They are owing you. All right. I see your money hanging. Money is hanging here and there. You are listening to me. I see money hanging. Huge amount of money hanging. Do you believe? Do you believe that in 48 hours that money will be released? Do you believe? There's somebody listening to me now. Yes. I see a huge amount of money hanging. They have refused to pay you. But if God has ever answered my prayer, I pray and I declare, in 48 hours, all your money that is hanging, raise your ATM card, everybody. All your money that is hanging, they will be released in 48 hours. In the mighty name of Jesus. I decree in the mighty name of Jesus. All your money that is hanging, Lena Sefarashka, they are released in the name of Jesus. They are released in the name of Jesus. And everyone in your contacts that has the ability to help you, that have the ability to bless you in 24 hours, they will request for your account number and there will be miracle money. They will remember you. They will bless you. In the name of Jesus, I decree. In Jesus' precious name. In the victorious name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, hear me. I'm still praying on your finances. Are you listening to me right now? I'm still praying on your finances. If you are listening to me, there's somebody. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Thank you, Holy Spirit of God. I'm seeing a young man. God is giving you an idea. You have been working on something, but God is, God is giving you an idea on how to make that thing come to pass. You have been thinking of something. You will sleep this night and God will open your eyes to see. And I see God moving you with that particular stuff you're doing. I'm saying something as we take. God is confirming it. You are going to, you're going to enter into dimensions of finance through that. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray. Now, when it comes to financial blessing, hear me, prayer is not enough. Are you hearing me? Uh -huh. There are people that only be, keep praying, 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 and you are not doing anything. You have to work. You have to work. That, that prayer is not balanced. If all you do is pray, 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 it's not enough. While you are praying, make sure you are doing something. Make sure you are working. I will bless the works of your hand. That's what the Bible said. I will bless your going out and your coming in. Are you listening to me? That's how to balance it. When, when you are praying, you'll be working. So your work is your channel. God will only magnify what you're doing. Are you listening to me right now? Don't say, ah, I don't know what to do. I don't have what to do. No, do something. Even though you are a graduate, don't say there's no work. Do for something. Start something. God will meet you at that place of that, even that many thing you are doing. Go out. Go out. Go out and come in. God will bless it. Are you listening to me right now? God is a God of prosperity and progress. Then number two, give. Be a giver. Don't be stingy when it comes to giving. God will bring certain opportunities to raise, to raise you. That's why the Bible says, give, you shall be giving great measure, press down, shake it together. Run over, shall men, not God. Men, God will compel men to bless you. Hallelujah. That's how to prosper. How you give. When God bless you, you do your tithe. There are people that, that explain tithe the way. They explain that, how can I tithe? The book that God has blessed. God blessed you with a lot of money. But right now you can't account for it because you didn't put it in the hand of God. Alright? The enemy took advantage of it. The same devourer that doesn't make money to last in your hand still came 
and devoured it. Now you can't give an account of it. You know, when you tithe, you are saying, God, take over my finance. You will look back and discover that that money that came into your hand, it was fruitful in your hand, it was useful in your hand because you put God first in it. When God is number one, you can't be number two. That's why the Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness. Every other thing shall be added unto you. Be a giver. Give to the poor. Give to those that don't have. Visit orphanage home. Do your tithe. I am telling you, these are secrets. Remember your parents. Remember, give to your parents. If your parents are alive, bless them. From time to time, go to your parents, kneel down and tell them to pray for you. This is how to prosper. Involve yourself, your brain. Engage your, your brain. Engage your brain. Are you listening to me right now? This is how to prosper. When God bless you, the first thing you do is kneel down, thank him, and then release your tight. As you tight, you say, God, as I tight. You do this prayer. As I tight, things will not be tight for me. I have come to honor you. Are you listening to me? When you do that, you see the hand of God moving mightily on your finances. Praise the Lord. Let me pray for those who give. There are people who give on this altar. They give, they tithe, they do, they tithe, they give, they seed. Kneel down, let me pray for you. The name of Jesus. As you give, the blessing upon my life will speak for you. The, the blessing upon this altar will be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. As you give, men will call, will compel men to give to you. Your ways will open. In the mighty this week, the blessing of this week, you will experience it. The blessing that will make your life to shine brighter, it you will experience it in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You will not go down this week financially, you will grow, you will increase, you will improve. Your life will move to the next level in the mighty name of Jesus. And any power that wants to stop you, I stop them. I stop them by the oil of God on my head. In Jesus' precious name, I declare. Amen and amen and amen. Listen, for those that wants to give, if you're on Instagram, check the comment section. I pinned down a GT account there. You can use that for your tithe, for your offering, for those that love to seed. You feel this prayer tonight is yours and you are taking advantage of every prophetic word. You love to drop a seed to it. You are free. If you are on YouTube or Facebook, there is a scroll. Check the scroll. Check the scroll. You also see the same GT account and maybe other accounts are there. You can also use the GT account for your tithe and for your seed and whatever. For those that are on radio, check. There is a drop down arrow. Click on the drop down arrow. You will see three small, small lines. Click on it. Options. The last options is about. If you click on about, all the information, including the number, phone number, including phone number that I, I, I called, I mentioned earlier it will appear in your phone praise the name of jesus it will appear on your screen so you can use that there's a gt account that you can use of that to do, to do your seed praise the name of jesus christ tomorrow night is going to be powerful don't fail if you're in lagos go and register now on wednesday night we are shutting down i'll be in lagos on friday 7 p.m till dawn novel house i'll take it again novel house plot three Block J, Otumba Fobi, Fele Way, Otumba Fobi, Fele Way, beside Corporate Affairs Commission, is not far from Gani Fayemi Library, Ikeja. That's the best description you can have for the meeting. 7 p.m. till dawn. It's going to be a night you will not forget in a hurry. So gather yourself, gather your family, program your mind, tell yourself I'm not going to miss it. If you live in Sapele, I am coming on Thursday 25th. Thursday 25th is for Sapele. Hallelujah. There is a registration. Also, you can go to the comment to the our YouTube, uh, sorry, our WhatsApp channel and register for Sapele uh, Super Thursday. Amen. After Sapele, I will be in worry. Now, everybody get ready. Get ready for our camp meeting. Every year we meet. Everywhere we every year, all global midnight prayer network members and PCM Global we gather in one place for three days. We call it our annual retreat, and uh, it's three days of fasting, it's three days of waiting, you know, rigorous prayer. We'll be holding for three days. There are some that we give you opportunity to fast for three days, depending on that issue you want God to handle in your life. Amen. Three days, they are both our fast three days. Uh, six to six, 
There are people that can fast. If you want to fast for three days, for two days, no water, no food. You want to fast for uh, three days dry, no water, no food. As you come to the camp meeting, they will give you a special prayer prayer manual that you know that addresses your matter, so you can take your time to pray. Hallelujah! It is a three days, three days, and this year I'm I'm having my pastor, my my pastor, my man of God, Apostle Emmanuel Irene. Uh, Aaron will be will be with us in Port Harcourt. So it's holding in Port Harcourt. Hallelujah. I'm having Shoma Jesus. I'm having Eben and the, the likes of Messi Shim. They will all be with us for three days. Three days of prayer. Rigorous prayer. Amen. All my sons and daughters, everybody, wherever you are in Ghana, program yourself. The date is 28th, 29th, and 30th of June. 28th, 29th, and 30th of So you are between now and 28th of June to tell your boss wherever you walk and tell your boss, Sir, I am going on a retreat in June. Please, I need you to give me permission to stay out of work for 28th, 29th, and 30th. I want to go and have a retreat. Hallelujah. So program yourself. Registration is going to start in the month of May. First, uh, the first Sunday of May, we will first Monday of May rather, we will, we will distribute the online registration. But for those of us that worship at our satellite churches, the remote in-house registration will kick off this coming Sunday, so that we can have enough time to plan and prepare ourselves, prepare our hearts and our mind for that meeting. Hallelujah! I wish somebody is going to you know plan ahead of this. Last year, it was amazing. And guess what? We are making free accommodation, free transportation in such a way that, you know, we will be able to help people uh, attend the camp meeting. We want you to come from anywhere you are, Lagos, Abuja, anywhere you are, Ghana, anywhere you are, just start programming your mind to attend that retreat. It is a retreat. It's a between you and God. You are saying, God is me and you, me and you. I want you to come to change my story. Hallelujah. So, get yourself ready for June. June is your season. Hallelujah. Let's share the grace. May the grace of our Lord Jesus, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Surely, God's goodness and God's mercies shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Say after me, I shall not die. Say, I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. Again, say, I shall not die. Say, I shall live to declare the words of the Lord. Amen. And amen. And amen. Please, tomorrow night, come online early. Rebuke sleep. Those of you that used to sleep and sleep off, please rebuke it. Help yourself. This is your season of arise and shine. God bless you. And have a lovely night rest. Bye-bye. Hello, people. My name is Greg Vincent. I want to welcome you to a brand new month. This is the month of April. And God's prophetic word for us this month is our month of the supernatural. God is launching us into deeper work in the miraculous. And I tell you, it's going to be a ride that God wants you to join. And I want to invite you to major events in the month of April. Now, every Sundays and Thursdays is dedicated to deep teaching on walking in the miraculous. On Thursdays by 5.30 p.m. And then on Sundays by uh, 7.30 and 10 a.m. Two loaded services. We'll be doing a deep teaching series on walking in the miraculous. We're having a special midnight prayer starting from this night. Every night in the month of April from 12 midnight. The link is displayed on the screen right now. We are on Facebook, we are on YouTube, we are on radio, and we are on TV, satellite PCM, satellite TV. I want you to join the Global Midnight Prayer Network. I want you to be a part of what is going on. This is the end time move of God. As you join us, God bless you. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful 
April month. God bless you and have a wonderful day. I stand on this altar in the weight of my oil. I prophesy every evil eye monitoring how your life is going. Holy God! But I pray for somebody here. Your life will still be on track. If you want to stand out, be outstanding. When principles are weak, influence will be weak. Integrity attracts integrity. To become a principal person in life, you must be a person of strong principles. This event will be streamed on all our social media platforms. Miracles happen when God honors the word of his servant. Tonight, God will honor the words of Pastor Greg Vincent. Pray with us by connecting on the MixLR app or connect on Facebook or on YouTube. You can also watch on your satellite on Limex TV or Ninja TV. Global Midnight Prayer Network is a place of answer and a place of solution. If you understand your true state in Christ as a believer, you are meant to command signs and wonders and not to chase after signs and wonders. There are people that move from one place to the other looking for solution. It's simple. There is so much about your Christianity that you have not been exposed to. There is so much about your faith that you are yet to be exposed to. You can work miracles. Bible didn't say this sign shall follow pastors that believe. Bible didn't say this sign shall follow reverend that believe, bishop that believe. No. These signs shall follow them that believe. So everyone who believes in Christ is supposed to carry signs and wonders. To command signs and wonders in your life, to operate in the supernatural, to operate in the miraculous, they are setting covenant connections. And number one is the new birth connection. So being born again is a must. There is even between a Christian and a born again. That you are called a Christian doesn't mean you are born again. No. Somebody can pretend to live like somebody and yet doesn't have the spirit of that person that you come to church doesn't make you born again your first vital link to a life of the supernatural is the understanding of who you are when you become born again the average believer is so powerful that he doesn't know and a genuine born again is not an ordinary person you are not a normal you are not the normal person in the club you are not the ordinary person on the streets a born again is a man who operates in the realms where he has things the way he wants them. Spirit cannot be stopped. A spirit cannot be limited. What touches others should not touch you as a child of God because your father is a spirit and you are begotten of the spirit. Your status is not natural. Your origin is not natural. You are in the natural sphere, but you are not from the natural realm. Please start understanding yourself so that you will not be misbehaving when you go outside. You are too loaded. You are, too, you are carrying something. Did you hear what I'm saying now? That's what the Bible said. A spiritual man is mad. His brain, natural brain, does not function like the natural. His brain doesn't function like the natural brain. He became natural. Sin is a killer. Sin is a destroyer. Now, sin brings us where we did. If not be seen, you no go trek on church. If not be seen, you no go use ordinary belly sleep last night. Because there are people that didn't eat. And that's the truth. The suffering you're going through, now sin cause her. Sin is the root of every problem. You are not just normal. You are not ordinary. Okay? Stop walking like an ordinary person. Stop moving and behaving like an ordinary person. Stop talking like an ordinary person. Are you listening to me? You are a royalty and you are a priesthood. A king don't talk anyhow. A priest don't talk anyhow. You, there is something you carry. You are carrying God on your inside. We have no cause to fear what men of this world will fear. If you can key into this kind of revelation, I'm telling you, you will not be subject to satanic harassment. No demon can harass you. You are superior to the devil. Satan is very powerless. Satan cannot attack you. He only attacks you on your ignorance. The first thing, he will use fear and destroy your faith. And once your faith is out of place, sir, he will attack you. At Passion for Change Ministries.
If Jesus could not be stopped, you will not be stopped. Your season of encounters are here. Your seasons of recovery is here. A moment to experience the supernatural wonders of God. And this time, the heavens is open. I decree your story has changed in the name of Jesus. And miracles, testimonies, and breakthrough is better. It's the Lagos Jesus Night of Miracles, happening on the 19th of April 2024, and the time is 7 p.m. till then. And the venue is Novel House, Block 3 Block G, Utumba Fubi Fella Way, beside Corporate Affairs Commission, not far from Ghana Fayemi Library, Ikeja, Lagos State. It's a night of supernatural encounter. Don't miss out. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, at the count of seven, there's gonna there's gonna be a move. There's gonna be a move at the count of seven. Please close your eyes. The power of God is moving here. Yes, afflictions are living. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank somebody should not miss this moment. Sister, don't miss this moment. Don't miss this moment. Don't don't miss this moment. 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 Don't miss it. Don't miss this moment. Don't miss this moment. Run the quaradias. Don't miss this moment. My God. My God. My God. Close your eyes.
one else like you. Who oh, is faithful and but true? For you are my Lord, my all, my life is a testimony. Whatever the enemy took from you, stretch your hands. Whatever the devil stole, I stand and I came in the authority that is in the name of Jesus. Whatever the devil stole from you, in the name that is above every name, I declare restoration for you now. Lift your two hands, stretch it out. out. Stretch it out. Whatever the enemy stole from you, whatever the wicked stole from you, whatever they took from you, they took your peace, they took your joy. I decree in the name of Jesus, it is restored right now. Can I have amen three times? One, two, three. I pray for somebody in this service. Whatever the enemy is holding that belongs to you i command it release now in the name of jesus i command it release now in the name of jesus every hand of the wicked upon your life upon your destiny is hereby broken in the name of jesus i pray for you in this meeting that right here every blessing that has your name on it you are taking delivery in the name of Jesus. I want you to say this prayer after me. Say, my father, my father. Can, can you make it more aggressive? Say, my father, my father. As I begin to pray now, every spirit of affliction rising up against my life. Oh, come on, louder. Say, every spirit of affliction rising up against my life. As I clap my hands to pray, scatter by fire, scatter by fire, scatter by fire. Do not look at your neighbor. Destiny is per head, per head. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Lege de bat subalaga don bregeli bragadando skeva ladia zeketele bregade kasko vagataya rabakate leketele brande geto kataya. As kefre de keton de le brigade, Afrika dala kwara de katala bata, scatter by fire, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Lift your voice and say, Father, as I begin to pray. Loud and say, Father, as I begin to pray. Every arrow of the wicked fired into my life. What are you waiting for? Backfire by fire. Backfire by fire. Backfire by fire. Somebody shall fire. Shall fire. Shall fire. Clap your hands and pray. Clap your hands and pray. A rose of the wicked. A rose of failure. A rose of disappointment. A rose of delay. Don't look at your neighbor. This is the moment to pray. Backfire. 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 The arrows are going back. 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 The arrows of the wicked. The arrows of the enemy. Ragada bakorataya. Shavakata ragataya. Ragadenga bakoriata. Efkaten sofragade. Rabakatoziata. Jegede. Ragade. Zagade. Rekatande rababata. Rakwatea dakada. Eskatele degadiata. Zekorian de legade. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can I have amen three times? One, two, 
three. Lift your voice, say, Father, as I begin to pray, every altar, I, 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 I loud as say, every altar mentioning my name, satanic altars calling my name as I clap my hands, catch fire, 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 clap your hands and pray. Wicked altars, wicked altars, wicked altars, wicked altars, wicked altars, catch fire, 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 catch fire. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, some of us have been oppressed by the powers of our father's house. But I pray for you. Every voice from your father's house, every voice from your father's house, limiting your glory, limiting your destiny, silenced by fire. Can I hear a louder amen? Can I hear a louder amen? Can I hear another amen? Every voice from your father's house saying you will not rise, saying you will not become anything. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, I pray for you right now. Every shrine where your pictures have been taken to, every altar where your pictures have been taken to, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost, 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 Holy Ghost. I pray for you in this service. Anybody that has found that over the dead body will you rise? Holy Ghost. Anybody moving from one to two house to another to oppress you to oppress your life, Holy Ghost, 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 Shalaban, Dequadia. Stretch your hands. I pray for this one. Enesome eno sifa afuri kaya mera etos ikalada. Every covenant that your fathers enter, your forefathers enter, limiting your glory, limiting your destiny, I decree fire in the name of Jesus. Every rope they used to tie you. I believe somebody is here this morning. Any rope they used to tie your marital life, any rope they used to tie your finances. Every demonic rope they used to tie your glory. Holy Ghost. 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 Nanasha. Nekena Namande. But said, Behold, they shall gather. Not by me. Behold, they shall gather. That means they are going to gather. But because their gathering is not of the law, Bible said their gathering shall scatter. I stand today on this altar and I decree, I declare any gathering of witches, wizards, evil men, occultic men against your life, against your destiny, according to the word of the law. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! I prophesy, you will not die before your time. Believe in the grace of God that I carry. But I stand and I declare, any power from your father's house 
waiting for you on your gate of celebration. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Let them amanda mando shi anamanda. Maleke de 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 shi. I pray for you that any power blocking your way, one way open they block it, another way open they block it. I stand on this altar and I prophesy. Every power from your father's house, from your mother's house, blocking your way, blocking your way. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. Ele de super aprende quate escufri catale shadaya quateli ataya. Many are the affliction, but the Lord delivered it. He delivered it. The Lord delivered it. Many are the affliction. The Lord delivered it. Ayana Sila, there's a woman here. They locked up your womb. A zigamash. They said you won't carry a child. I pray and I declare. I pray and I declare. By this time in the month of May. Zudi Katwas Ifra Ates Kata. You will return with a testimony that you have been confirmed pregnant. Eredemas Afi Zuf Isabavi Kabara Ezi Katelia. Whatever the enemy has used to cover your face. Manashka. They use something to cover your face. So that the right people will not see you. They use daughter of God. Open your hand. They use something. Whatever it is, they get ready. Oh, listen, get ready. This is not just anything they use to cover your face. Ayala Magoshara. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Say, Father. Every satanic covering over my life. Over my destiny, as I clap my hands, catch fire, catch fire, catch fire. Open your mouth, open, pray, pray. There's a lady here, pray. Open your mouth, pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. That covering, that satanic covering. Shabadon deka, feketende, rakwataya, zekatelia, rekatalia, kubrande legete, shatata, lakata, shatata, shatata, lakata, shatata, lakataya. That covering. That satanic covering. That satanic covering. Manamala Maheshuata. Thank you, Lord Jesus. 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 In the name of Jesus, I pray for you. I pray for you. Malane Any power covering your glory. Mm, some of you don't understand yet. There are people that people don't see you. They don't see your blessing. Only they don't see your, your business. Everybody is doing the same thing that you are doing. Not only your own. Let they work. Because there is a cloud. There is a covering. But I stand today and I declare, stretch your hands. Any power covering your glory. Covering your blessings. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! 
Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I want us to take this one prayer and I will share the word of God. I will share God's word with you. You know, um, I don't know when I'm going to come back to Asaba. I don't know. But I think if you are here this morning, you are very privileged. I know what I'm talking about. I pray for somebody whose hands are stretched out. Lise Farashka. Neskipran de Kokish Kafara. Nesifritalia. Every covenant, ancestral covenant, that is affecting your life, affecting your destiny, that covenant is being broken right now. That covenant is being broken right now. How many are you ready to pray? If it is from your family, if it's from your foundation, you are going to address it. Are you ready to pray? Somebody should get angry, angry in your spirit. Position your two hands right now. Are you ready now? Are you, are you ready? If you are ready, shall fire. Shall fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Lift your voice, say, Father. As I pray now, every power tying down my glory, tying down my destiny, as I move my hands, break, 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 faster, 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 break, move your hands, close your hands, faster, 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 faster now, faster, make it faster, make it faster, make it faster, make it faster. Make it faster, make it faster, make it faster, make it faster. Break now, break now, break now, break now. Break. Chains are breaking, 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 chains are. Yes, 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 yes. That power, that 